Hello, beloved, and all who are watching. Oh, excuse my doggy. She's she's wanting to be with um my husband. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that um for those who do not say that publicans or politicians or any of them can be saved, um, I just want to let you know they can be saved. And this is what the scriptures say about the publican and the um and oh and know know that even those who persecuted and and uh and uh, condemned Christ to, to death, those who were not condemned Christ to death, those who were crucifying Christ, um, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Don't add this to their, um, their record. You know, he asked forgiveness while he was being crucified. This is my Lord and Savior. And I just want to point out that I am not, it's not me that's good. I don't deserve this grace that God has given me, he has given it to me freely. And so I want to offer it to all people. Um, it's my heart that as much as we're angry at the things that we've seen or we've learned about the world that we live in and the things that people have done to us, you know, I forgive all that have done harm to me. I forgive all of my enemies and those that, that oppress me, I try to do good to as hard as it is, and yes, I do, uh, there in the scriptures, it says to correct, to rebuke, to reprove. These things are very important. We're not to let the evil remain and to just, you know, turn a blind eye if some innocent child is being hurt. That is not okay. However, God's grace is for all, and all who would believe can be saved. It says, two men went up into the temple to pray the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his oh gosh, this makes me sad, upon his breast saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Brothers and sisters, he also talks about, suffer little children to come unto me, and for, forbid them not, for as such, as the king, such is the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, we must be as a little child to enter into the, the kingdom of God. And if you're a publican, an extortioner, if you've done um, harm, if you've done adultery against God, if you're like an Israelite and you've, you've followed after other gods or made yourself a god, whatever has been done, you know, know that God is merciful and God will forgive you. You know, this message, God, this, this channel, got Agape, you know, as much as we're exposing the merchants of the earth, the mighty men, the, the sorcerers, and all that they do, you know, we give a warning that continuing in that and not amending your ways is not good. But know that if you go to God and ask for mercy, he will give you mercy the way he gave me mercy. And I am no better than you, and nobody else is better. Um, God is good. God is holy. He is a just judge, and um, he re recompenses evil. But turn away from that evil. Turn to God. Believe on his son, and he's a good mediator for your sins. You will be justified, as it says in this scripture right here. And I just wanted to encourage the publicans, the politicians you know i know that they destroy through policy but they can also be saved through jesus christ they can be saved from everlasting destruction from the hellfire that is that um that the rich man went into he, the son of man is for you too okay extortioners he comes for the sinners he loves the sinners he hates the sin okay and so do i um so I've heard about some people committing suicide and and killing others because they're finding out of their impending judgment. And I just want to warn you and let you know, God gives message messages to all people in earth. 
don't act hastily. Don't think that you can't go to God. He is good. Go to him. You know, even Cain, he should have stopped doing what he was doing and did what God said and, and received the, the grace that God was offering him, uh, the mercy to put a mark on him so that he wouldn't be killed. Okay, and so I'm hoping and praying that many would come to God and bring the little children to Jesus because he can save them and help, let him teach them, not the wicked, um, because the, this, these people who have done things that are wrong, you know, um, we as God's children need to offer up prayer for them and um, let them know, you know, God's merciful. He's merciful to a sinner. And if you, like like me, I, I went to him and I went, I'm a sinner, I need you. I believe your son died for my sins. And that can happen to you. Once you believe that gospel, you're saved. And be, be encouraged. Um, and don't, maybe you'd never really believed. You know, if you were in the Jesuits or the Masons, you can come out. I've already prayed for the Masons, Jesuits, and Shriners that want to come out of serving Satan. Those who have not known the depths of Satan, I've already prayed for you. I've already asked God to block the wolf from, from um, keeping you from the truth and the love of the truth. So don't be afraid of man. I've already prayed God would protect you and that you could learn of him. He is, your burden may be really heavy. And your burden may be very grievous. Just remember, Jesus, his burden is light. He is, um, his yoke is easy, it says in the scriptures. And he will take that burden off of your shoulders and onto his own because he doesn't have a lot of burden. God doesn't put a bunch of burden on his son. Um, he's already wore the crown of thorns. So, uh, we forgive you. I forgive all of the, my enemies. I forgive even the oppressors. I'm hoping I can do good to them and show them that, you know, God is good and that he is, he is a savior for the sinner. So this is a time of judgment too for the wicked who continue to do wickedly and take, take advantage of God's mercy. But those of you who truly do feel bad about what you've done, and you, you know the gospel of Christ, just believe on him and just be confident in that faith. And don't worry, don't fear uh, man, because, you know, if he knows you're true in your heart, you're his now. So don't worry. Agape love to you.